rear subframe removed from the Mini. It just comes out as one unit. So you can see the rubber cone switch out to the springs and the shock is always revealing the underbody which is where I wanted to get to. So these are the mounting points for sorry these are the mounting points for this suspension unit. You can see it's not, not particularly structurally rigid, <laughs> it's fair to say. And also at this end where it mounts at the front, there's there's a hole here and a hole here. And th this was inaccessible with the subframe in place, which is the reason I've had to remove it. So I've ordered a replacement section to go in here and also the replacement sill which welds on to here so all this will then be good metal. I may have to do some localised patching of this floor section here just to make sure there's no other corrosion. Um, yeah, interesting. And as I said at the assessment video this side is good at the front of the sill so there's nothing to worry about in there. Um, but at the rear, it's pretty much the same story. It's, it's just, it's almost like it had no corrosion protection at all, really. So it's, uh, well, you can see it's, it's metal. It's unpainted metal under the subframe, and this is unpainted metal in the section under the boot floor. So it's no surprise, really, that it rots through, is it? I was speaking to the supplier for minis and he did say that the build quality um, degraded over the years, the amount of uh, rust prevention that they used did degrade over the years. So. Anyway, it's um, it's not beyond saving this, it's just a little bit of um, work, fabrication and welding work to bring it back to new. So I'll keep you updated through the story, um, it should be interesting, it'll take shape fairly quickly. I've just ordered the replacement sections and everything that I need for the car, so I've ordered new bumpers, new grill and various other things as well. I've tried to order everything in one go so that I've got everything ready to fit to the car when I need it.